Hello everyone, welcome back to Knit Crow Addict channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful drawstring knitted pouch. This pouch is very easy to make. It's great for beginner and very fast to make as well. I have the free written pattern. It's available on my blog. But if you prefer the PDF, pinnable version, it's available for purchase on my Etsy and my Ravelry store. And I will put all the links in the description below. I hope you enjoy! Here is the materials that I used for this project. For this project, you will need size 3 lightweight yarn. And I use Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Blend. This is size 3 lightweight yarn. And here is the color silver lining so i have two bags here two color so this one is this color and this is this color it's the same brand just different color so this one here is the color okay all right if you want to substitute yarn you can use any kind of yarn you like but i recommend using the cotton yarn and if you want your bag to turn out like mine like same size I recommend look for size 3 lightweight yarn. Okay? And crochet hook size 5 millimeter. Scissors, yarn needle, and stitch marker. This is optional. You don't have to use this if you don't want to. And then I also have my tag logo in there that I uh, sew in my bag. And if you want to know where I purchased this from, I will put the link in the description below. I purchased from SC. I just sent my uh, the file logo to them and then they sent me this. And you can choose the size that you like as well for your logo or yeah, they have many kind of tags. Like if you just want to put the name like your name or your brand in there. You just tell them it's very very cool i love it and it's very good quality as well all right and if you don't want to uh sew any tags or anything in here totally fine as well whatever you prefer or you also can sew like a handmade tag in there i think it's cool as well all right let's talk about the measurement for this bag So, let me open. We're gonna make this bag in round. And the circumference for this bag is about almost 17 inches circumference. And the length from here to here is about 10 inches tall. And if you want bigger, you can do that as well. Just add more chain. And if you want taller, you also can do that as well. Just add more rows. Really easy. All right, this is very easy project. It's beginner friendly. It's very beautiful. I love it. All right, let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start off with a slip knot. Use any method you prefer for making a slip knot. And then I'm gonna make 37 chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I gonna keep making the chains until I have 37 chains. And if you want bigger, this way, bigger bag, add more chains. All right, but make sure you will have an odd number of chain. All right, so I have 37, that is an odd number of chain. All right. <laughs> I will be back when I have 37 chains. Okay, now I have 37 chains. And then for round one, we're gonna make one half double crochet into the second chain from the hook right here. So I yarn over my hook, I skip the first chain, insert the hook into the second chain here. And then pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. This is my first half double crochet. And now, if you like, you can place this stitch marker into the first 
stitch as well but if you think you can see where is the first stitch you don't have to put the stitch marker totally up to you but I just gonna place this stitch marker just to show you all right and then we're gonna make half double crochet into each chain across so a yarn over insert the hook into the next chain here pull up a loop three loops on my hook a yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and repeat that yarn over insert the hook into the next chain pull up a loop three loops on my hook a yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook all right i'm just gonna repeat that across oops Okay, I'm gonna keep making half double crochet into each chain across and then I will be back when I'm at the end here. Okay, I'm at the end here. Here's what it looks like. And I have 36 half double crochet stitch across. And now round one is not done yet. We're gonna make in round. So to do that, we're gonna turn the opposite side here and we're gonna make half double crochet into each chain on the other side across. So I have 36 half double crochet on this side. I should have 36 half double crochet on the other side because we make into the same chain that we did on this side. All right, hope that makes sense. So after I reach the end here and next I turn this side and we're gonna make half double crochet into each chain on this side across. So the first chain that we're gonna make into is gonna be the same chain that we make the last double crochet, uh, last half double crochet, sorry. So I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into that, the last chain right here. And then pull up a loop and make half double crochet like that hope you can see okay and then half double crochet into the next chain here right here and then half double crochet into the next chain here and then half double crochet into the next chain here Half double crochet into the next chain here and half double crochet into the next chain here. And half double crochet into the next chain. Okay, here's what this looks like so far. Alright, I'm gonna keep making half double crochet into each chain a cross till the end and I will be back. Take your time. <laughs> okay now I'm at the end of round one here. Here's what this looks like. So I have 36 half double crochet on this side and I have 36 half double crochet on the other side. So total of 72 half double crochet stitches around. All right so if you make bigger bag just make sure you have an even number of these stitches because when you come to this part this stitch pattern is multiple of two or an even number of these stitches all right so to finish round one we're gonna slip stitch into the first half double crochet here where i place this stitch marker so I can now remove this stitch marker first and then insert the hook into that stitch which is the first half double crochet that I did. Insert the hook there, pull up a loop and pull it through. Now round one is complete. To start round two, we're gonna chain one and the chain one doesn't count at a stitch. And we're gonna make half double crochet into the first stitch there where we slip stitch right there. Alright, so I yarn over, insert the hook 
into that first stitch. Pull up a loop and make half double crochet. And again, if you like, you can place this stitch marker into the first half double crochet. Totally up to you. I'm just going to place it there so you can see. Okay, we're going to make half double crochet into each stitch around. So yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch. Pull up a loop and make half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next stitch. And then half double crochet into the next stitch. Half double crochet into the next. And then half double crochet into the next. Half double crochet into the next. And half double crochet into the next. Very easy. Alright, I'm just gonna keep make half double crochet into each stitch around. When you come around the corner here, just keep making half double crochet into each stitch around. We're not gonna increase or decrease. Alright, and then at the end of round two, I'm gonna have the same amount of these stitches, which is 72 half double crochet. Okay, alright, I will keep making half double crochet into each stitch around and I will be back when I'm at the end of round two. Okay, I'm at the end of round two here. And I have the same 72 half double crochet stitches around. And to finish round two, we're gonna do the same at round one. We're gonna slip stitch into the first half double crochet. So remove the stitch marker and slip stitch into that first half double crochet. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, and pull it through. That's it. <laughs> and then for round three to round five, we're gonna repeat round two. Okay, but I'm gonna show you one more round, which is round three. Just repeat round two. We're gonna chain one and then make half double crochet into the first stitch there. The chain one doesn't count at a stitch, okay? Make half double crochet into the first stitch. And then I'm gonna place this stitch marker into the first stitch. And then half double crochet into each stitch around. Very easy. Just repeat round two. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna keep making half double crochet into each stitch around and I will be back when I'm at the end of round three. I'm at the end of round three here and I have the same 72 half double crochet stitches around. And to finish the round, do the same. Remove this stitch marker and make slip stitch into that first half double crochet. That's it. Alright, so round 4 and 5, repeat round 2. And every round, you should have the same amount of these stitches. For me, I have 72, and every round, I should have 72 stitches. Alright, I'm gonna keep repeating row 2 until I have 5 round total. And I will be back when I'm at the end of round 5. And then for round 6, we're gonna start make this part. Okay, this pattern. And if you want this part to be taller, you keep adding more rounds. Just repeat round two. Alright, for me, I make total of five rounds. Okay, take your time, good luck, and I will be back when I'm at the end of round five. Okay, now I'm at the end of round five. And then for round six, we're going to make this pattern here. All right, to do that, we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. The first three chains count as one double crochet, and then the fourth chain there count as one chain space. And then next, we're gonna skip the next stitch and make one double crochet into the next stitch, all right? After I chain four here, 
I yawn over my hook. I skip the next stitch and then insert my hook into the next stitch. Pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. I yawn over and pull through the first two loops. And then yawn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. This is the double crochet. Alright. And then next, we're going to chain one. And then skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch. So after I chain one, I yawn over my hook. I skip the next stitch, insert the hook into the next stitch. <laughs> pull up a loop, three loops on my hook. I yawn over and pull through the first two loops. Yawn over and pull through the last two loops. Alright, we're just going to repeat that. We're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and then one double crochet into the next stitch. Do the same. Repeat that, chain one, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next. Repeat that, chain one, skip next stitch, one double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next, one double crochet into the next. I'll show you one more time. Chain one, skip next stitch, one double crochet into the next. All right, you're just gonna repeat that around. All right, so next you're gonna chain one, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next, one double crochet into the next. Repeat that around. And I will be back when I'm at the end of round six. Okay, now I'm at the end of round six. Uh, to finish round six, you're gonna chain one here and then you're gonna slip stitch into the third chain. All right, so this is my last double crochet and then after that I chain one and then, of course, skip the next stitch and then we're gonna slip stitch into the third chain. So here is the first chain, second chain, and third chain. Insert the hook into the third chain, pull up a loop and pull through. Here's what it looks like at the end of round six. And at the end of round six, I have the same 72 stitches around includes the chain one spaces as well. All right, so round seven, we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. And the first three chains count as one double crochet, and then the fourth chain there count as one chain space. And then we're gonna make one double crochet into the double crochet stitch here. So after I chain four, I yarn over my hook, Insert the hook into that double crochet stitch. Pull up a loop and make double crochet. And then chain one, one double crochet into the double crochet stitch. And we're just gonna repeat that around. We're gonna chain one, one double crochet into the double crochet stitch. And chain one, one double crochet into the double crochet stitch. Chain one, one double crochet into the double crochet stitch. Oops, okay. <laughs> All right, chain one, one double crochet into the double crochet stitch. It's very easy pattern. All right, one more time. Okay, here's what it looks like so far on round seven. So you're just gonna repeat that around. So next, you're gonna chain one, and then one double crochet into the double crochet stitch. Chain one, one double crochet into the double crochet stitch. Repeat that, oops, around. <laughs> and I will be back when I'm at the end of round seven. Okay, I'm at the end of round seven. And I haven't finished the round seven yet. I don't want to show you. So at the end, here's what it looks like. So after you make the last double crochet, and next you're gonna chain one. 
I already chain one here and after you chain one we're gonna slip stitch into the third chain to finish round seven so I already chain one here so this is the first chain second chain and third chain so I insert the hook into that third chain and then pull up a loop and pull it through all right here's what this look like at the end of round seven and I have the same 72 stitches around including the uh, chain one spaces as well so for round eight to round 18 you're gonna repeat round seven all right exactly the same no increase no decrease and I'm gonna show you one more round which is round eight all right round eight repeat round seven we chain four one two three and four the first three chains count as one double crochet and in the fourth chain there count as one chain space and then we're gonna make one double crochet into the double crochet stitch here and then chain one one double crochet into the double crochet stitch chain one one double crochet into the double crochet stitch chain one one double crochet into the double crochet stitch very easy all right chain one one double crochet into the double crochet stitch all right you're gonna keep repeating this around chain one one double crochet into the double crochet stitch chain one one double crochet into the double crochet stitch repeat that around and i will be back when i'm at the end of round eight okay i'm at the end of round eight here to finish round eight we're gonna do the same at round seven so after i make the last double crochet i chain one here and next i'm gonna slip stitch into the third chain here do exactly the same as round seven all right here's what it looks like and i have the same 72 stitches around Enclose the chain one spaces as well. So I already make round eight here. So for round nine to round 18, I gonna repeat round seven, exactly the same. All right, and if you want taller back, taller back here, keep adding more rounds. Just repeat round seven. All right, so for me, I gonna make uh, 18 rounds. And then I will be back when I'm at the end of round 18. Good luck. Take your time. I will be back soon. Okay, now I'm at the end of round 18 here. And like I said, if you want taller back, just keep adding more rounds. Just repeat round 7. Okay? So, the next round is going to be the final round, which is round 19. We're going to make this beautiful stitch here. All right, I'll show you. So first, round 19, I'm going to chain two, one and two. And it doesn't count at a stitch. And then into each chain one space, we're going to make a double crochet, a pico, and the double crochet all into the same space. All right, so after I chain two here, I'm gonna make a double crochet into this one chain space. So you on over, insert the hook into that one chain space, pull up a loop and make a double crochet. And then next, we're gonna make a pico. So you're gonna chain three, one, two, and three. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the back bump of the first chain that we did. So this is the first chain that we did. If you turn a little bit, you'll see the back bump there. We're gonna slip stitch in there. So I insert the hook into the back bump of the first chain that I did. Insert the hook there, pull up a loop and pull it through. This is a uh, pickle, all right? And then I'm gonna make one more double crochet into the same space. All right, here's what this look like. And then into each space, like I said, we're going to make double crochet, pico, and double crochet. So next space here, I make a double crochet. And then pico, 
We chain three, one, two, and three. And then slip stitch into the back bump of the first chain that we did. So right here, insert the hook there. Sorry, and then pull up a loop and pull it through. And then make one more double crochet into the same space. All right, this is what we're gonna repeat around. So next chain one space, we start with the double crochet and then pico. Pico with chain three and then slip stitch into the back bump of the first chain that we did here. Insert the hook into that back bump. Pull up a loop and pull it through. Oops, sorry. Okay. And then make one more double crochet into the same space. All right. I'll show you a couple more times. So next space here, we make a double crochet. And then pickle, pickle with chain three. And then slip stitch into the back bump of the first chain that we did. Right here. Set the hole, pull up a loop and pull through. And then make one more double crochet into the same space. All right. Next space here, we make double crochet. And then pickle, pickle with chain three. And then slip stitch into the back bump of the first chain that we did. Right here. Insert the hook there. Pull up a loop and pull it through. And then make one more double crochet into the same space. Okay, here's what it's looked like so far. Okay, let me show you one more time. So next space here, we make a double crochet. And then we make pickle. And then make one more double crochet into the same space. See, not that difficult, right? Yes, what it's looked like so far. All right, you can now repeat that into each space around. So into the next chain one space here, you're gonna make one double crochet, pico, and one double crochet, all into the same space. And then repeat to the next space, one double crochet, pico, and one double crochet. All right, repeat that around, and I will be back when I'm at the end of round 19. Okay, I'm at the end of round 19 here. Okay, so after I make the last uh, double crochet here, and then next, I'm gonna slip stitch into the first double crochet that I did, right here. Right here, so insert the hook there. Pull up a loop and pull it through. And we're done. And then I'm gonna cut the yarn. And then pull the yarn out. And then weave the end. I'm gonna weave the end later. And then next, we're gonna make the drawstring. And for the drawstring, we're gonna make two exactly the same. And if you want longer drawstring, feel free to add more chain as long as you like. So this is my drawstring. That's what I like, the length. So I make total of uh, 121 chains and then slip stitch back. And this is what the length of the drawstring that I have. And yeah, like I said, if you want longer, feel free to add more chains. So, all right, start with a slip knot. Use any method you prefer for making a slip knot. And then I'm gonna make 121 chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I will be back when I have 121 chains. Okay, now I have 121 chains. It's pretty long. Again, if you want longer, feel free to add more chains. So yeah, um, I'm gonna slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then into each chain of cloth. But I like to slip stitch into the little bump on the back of each chain here. 
all right i recommend to do that better than like uh insert into the v here the normal chain here i think it's look better but yeah if you prefer to insert into the v shape here the normal chain here you can do that as well so for me i'm gonna turn a little bit and then i'll see the little bump on the back of the chain here that's what i'm gonna insert my hook into and make a slip stitch so this is the first chain this is the second chain I turn a little bit i'll see a little bump on the back of the second chain there and then i'm gonna insert my hook there and then pull up a loop and pull it through all right and then slip stitch into the next chain again i insert into the little bump on the back of the next chain here and then pull up a loop and pull it through oops okay and then slip stitch into the next chain I insert into the little bump on the back of the neck chain and then make a slip stitch. All right, slip stitch into the next bump here, slip stitch into the next bump, next bump. Oops, sorry, okay. <laughs> Next bump here. Okay, here's what this looks like so far. So let me show you here real quick. So this is the normal chain stitch, right? And if you turn on the back here, you'll see the little bump on the back of the chain. That's what I insert my home into. This is the little bump on the back of the next chain. Little bump on the back of the next chain. The next. All right, I'm gonna keep making slip stitch into the little bump on the back of each chain across till the end and I will be back. Okay, I slip stitch until the end here and then next I'm gonna cut the yarn. Alright, and then pull the yarn out. And now you can weave all the ends now or later. Totally up to you. I'm gonna weave the end later. So you need two of these exactly the same. Uh, make sure both of them are the same length. Alright, so I already have two here. Okay, and next I will show you how to insert this drawstring into the uh, back here all right so before you insert make sure your back is flat laying flat like this and we're gonna make sure that our drawstring the end of that it will be on the side of the back and then the other one is gonna be on opposite side like that but both of them gonna be on the side because when we close we want this to be on the side, not like this. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Okay, anyway. So I'm gonna start with this side. I'm gonna insert into the round 19 here. So this is, I start right here. I insert and then come out, kinda like back and forth. Okay, in and out in and out in and out all right this is what i'm gonna do in and out in and out all around until the end here Okay, I'm at the end here. Here's what it looks like. Okay. As you can see here. And then, 
we're gonna insert the other one exactly the same but uh, sorry insert the same but on the opposite side make sure the end is on the opposite side so we can close it so I gonna start right here oops sorry right here in and out again in and out and then in and out like that in and out all right i gonna doing that around until the end here Okay, I reached the end here. Here's what it look like. Okay. All right. I hope you have the same. <laughs> and then after that, I'm gonna tie a knot here. Tie the um the ends together. You also can weave the end now if you like. But uh, yeah, I weave the end later. So I tied a knot like that and then do exactly the same on this side. That's it. Let me close it. And now we have a beautiful pouch. Look at that. And then next i gonna sew my logo in here i'm not sure you want to see it but um yeah if you don't want to see it you just skip this part but i'm gonna show you how i do it so i bring uh sorry i cut a new strand of yarn just long enough to sew this tag and then bring my yarn needle and insert the uh, yarn into my yarn needle and i'm gonna start sewing before i sew I'm gonna make sure that this is right at the middle. So it should be good around here. Okay. So I'm gonna insert inside the bag first. This come from inside, okay? Bring it out. I leave a little bit of tail and bring inside the bag. And then I insert into this hole here. gonna be inside the bag sorry <laughs> okay and then I gonna insert to this hole here the bottom here right here Okay, and then insert here, bring it in, I think like this is look good as well, but I'm gonna do like all um, square here, so it look like the frame, that's what I like. So I'm gonna insert to this hole here, the bottom left, right here. Oops. 
like that. Sorry, a little difficult to show on camera here. Okay. And then I'm gonna insert into this hole. Bring it in. And then I'm gonna insert into the top here. And then the last hole right here. That's it. And then I'm gonna tie those in together and then weave the ends. So I'm pretty sure you know how to weave the ends. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. So now I have my uh, drawstring knitted pouch. <laughs> Look at this. I love it. Love it, love it. Beautiful. All right. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy making this project. If you do, please give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to share this video to your friends, please, I will appreciate that so much. It's helped me out a lot. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.